Bourbon Whiskey Podcast, man. Everybody loves BBW. Um, in the building, man, we got a we got a special guest. We got Don in the building. What's up, world? <laughs> What's up, world? Uh, Angry Principal holding it down. What's up? My man Bo in the building. I say. And of course, man, it's your boy Q, man, holding it down live. From the 48205, man, we back in this thing for another week, drinking bourbon, smoking cigars. We got a special gift for you today, too, man. We talking about um, some cigars that we actually, uh, he ain't know it or not, but uh, we going to let Don tell everybody what it is <laughs> in a minute. We're not, not right. yet. We'll we, we give him a second to, to uh, get his composure together. But uh, the, the very special guest today, though, is New Rift. All right, All right so if, uh, Big C, if you can uh, hold that up to the camera just a little bit and shit so I can see it. There it is. That's a new riff. New riff. Um, so last year uh, on my birthday, um, he had brought this out actually when we was uh, filming uh, season two. So uh, I've actually had it before. I haven't had it since then. Um, so like we mentioned this on another episode where a lot of times you have bourbons and whiskeys and the next time you have it, it kind of tastes different because you've been tasting other shit. So like your palate changes a little bit. Um, so we go see how that works. Uh, in just a moment. Matter of fact, uh, we're going to have Big C go ahead and pop it then so we can get right to it and shit. So, um, while he's popping that, go ahead. Oh, no, I was just going to say it. So, New Riff is like a, a new kid on the block trying to tell the old guys how to actually get the job done. Yeah. <laughs> new and Riff it, is actually what it is. Yeah. <laughs> a New Riff. <laughs> so, they were established in uh, 2014. Okay. And uh, they bunch of... Uh, what they would call oh, them. Are we pausing for the court? Oh, pause for the court, oh, yeah. sorry. Hmm. Okay. So uh, these guys basically started up the company because they left the other jobs. They were in the liquor, other spirits business, and they wound okay. up switching mm-hmm. over and uh, creating their own um, their own label. Now I'm yeah. not sure if this is uh, an MGP product. I don't know if that may have been how they started. I know they're doing their own stuff now. Gotcha. Okay. And this is actually a bottle and bond, 100 proof. Uh, I didn't even realize that. Like the first time I had, it, I didn't realize it right. was bottle and bond. Okay. Uh, but I think. The, are you, if you're talking about the one you had in my house, I think that was a single barrel. Oh, so it's different. Been, this is oh, a, they okay. Have, they have four different expressions. So I actually haven't had this one. Right, I don't think you've had oh, this Oh, okay, one. okay. So they've, I, I, I have not had this in a very long time. Yeah. So this one was uh, distilled in 2016, so it's at least a four-year-old bourbon. Got you. Okay. All right, so. All right, I'm excited about this. That was just here. Okay. In case y'all wondering, I got to take a little time off and drinking. You know, I might not have been on the show these last couple of weeks, so <laughs> and a little, little health issue I was dealing with. Everything gonna be all right, but just in case y'all was wondering, for sure. But it's cool though, cause we still go, we still go talk about uh, cigars and bourbon. Oh, so definitely. we gonna be most a little excited about mm-hmm. this. So yeah, I, I really was thinking that this was uh, the same one that I had before. So, but it's so not. Yeah, they put it through that bottle and bond, so they had to. Mm-hmm. Uh, go through the government regulations, so it's a true one, uh, hundred proof yeah. bourbon. Uh, the bottom bonds, what they put in there, to try to make it sound, uh, put a little bit of extra price on it. Yeah. <laughs> Even though sure. we've had bottles and bonds that are cheap, mm-hmm. so you know, like that yeah. Williams, but yeah, mm-hmm. that bottle and bond uh, straight bourbon is a lot different than the one we had at our house, which okay. was a single barrel. Yeah, that's what I remember. Now I do see that uh, this one actually has uh, it says sixty five percent corn mash on there, right? So. <laughs> This is, I think that's going to make the, the taste a little bit different, too. So, let's just see here. I will tell you, though, what I remember about this bottle. It's sweeter than I thought it was going to be. Yeah, you know. It, it's yeah, sweeter it's, than I yeah, thought it was going to be, yeah. I remember it had like a, kind of like a deep, like like a almost, not, not almost like a caramel, like, ap, like aftertaste. Aftertaste, you know? yeah. Yeah, yeah. But not, you know, but not but, bad. So yeah, not, not like candy. Yeah, sweet, not like you know, candy. Not yeah. like Duke and Duke. <laughs> not, not like shout, out, shout out to Duke and Dane, of course, as always. So the biggest thing is this: this the vanilla is real strong on this. Mm-hmm. Mm. Serious vanilla and cinnamon. You know the vanilla. Cinnamon, is, yeah. yeah, the vanilla yeah. is reminiscent a little bit of Buffalo Trace, a little bit. <laughs> that's your go-to. That's boy. my go. I fucking love <laughs> Buffalo Trace, dog. That's your go-to. It is though, and, and I know the camera is, is off us right now, but uh, behind Angry Principal though is a uh, Wild Turkey 101, which is another one of my favorites now. <laughs> like uh, for whatever reason, it's just definitely one of my favorites. Um, so, um, Don, real quick while we uh taking a sip of this, uh, what is the uh the cigar we're smoking? Because uh, all uh, all four of us gonna smoke. Avo, they're uh, <clears throat> Nicaraguan. We got the uh, Robusto Classics today. Um, nice light cigar. You know, especially for a beginner, Dude. you get overwhelmed by cigars if you just beginning. It's sure. a nice one to start off with. Okay. Now, has, is this the first time you had one? This is actually one of my go-to's. Okay, I got you. So, 
What about you guys? Any of y'all ever had one of these? Never had right. one. I've never had uh, this blend before, but I've, I've had, yeah. I've had the brand, yeah. It is smooth. It's smooth. Yeah, like I said, this is one of my go-tos. So when I go buy cigars, you know, I grab a couple of my favorites and also try some new ones. And, you know, as you first start smoking, it'll take you a while to learn what you like. Yeah, for sure. You quickly see what you don't like. But <laughs> what you right. actually like, it'll take you a while. It could take you a while to yeah. find So you said you found out through some research that actually all the ones you like are Nicaraguan, though. That's what it seems to be. Uh, yeah. Avos and Olivas are two of my favorites. Okay. Let's see what it's uh what it's gonna do with this now. So like on the taste, the cigar is bringing out that uh that rye spice. It's kind of bring that out a little bit mm. and a little bit of that butterscotch. Butterscotch, kind of, yeah. Kind of tasting both of those. Okay. Once I had the cigar, at first I didn't have it. I'm gonna have to revisit that, this mm. bottle because yeah, I do yeah. remember that butter that butterscotch taste. Yeah. The spice sure. the spice is at the back though. Like it's a, it's like at the at the back of your palate. I guess that's the only way I can <laughs> explain Fish. this shit. Yeah, because like I don't taste it at the at the front, but like once I swallow it, then that's where I get the the spice okay. from. Okay. And I think it is. It, I think the smoke does bring it out a little bit. I, we still doing our little smoke trick from last time. <laughs> we just blowing smoke into the glass, <laughs> up. and the shit really did make a difference. Though. I, just, <laughs> I did that shit because I seen it on YouTube. Like I don't really, I already know. <laughs> um, I'm trying to remember though, like the uh, the. The one that we had before. So you said that was single barrel, right? That was a single barrel, right? Yeah. So I'm trying to see, like, because I don't remember a single barrel even having this, like, even remotely this, like, this sweetness. Like, did it? Because I'm figuring well, remember, every, sing, every one of your single barrels going to have a different taste. Yeah, that's true. It's one barrel. It's one barrel. It. Facts, yeah. You know, and instead of it being a blend of several different barrels mm -hmm. for, a, for a particular uh, flavor profile. So Right. And this is 100 proof, though. This is 100 proof. Mm -hmm. And see, that's another thing, though. About so I'm, it. I'm proof hunting a little bit. <laughs> a little bit. But even with it being 100 proof, though, um, it's not like it, it doesn't have a terrible bite at the end, but it gives you a little bit of a hug, which is uh, the proof hunter. Like, he want to he wanna fucking die when he, when he drink. <laughs> like, he want to drink. He want his whole fucking body to burn. Like, I, I'm not really into that. <laughs> I like, I got the softer palate, so I kind of like shit that's a little sweeter. I'll tell you what this, uh, and this, this, this is a rough comparison. So, and I want to, I think the, the main difference is, is that, that kind of spice at the end. But I think it is reminiscent of uh, uh, the, the the Evan Williams bottle and bond, the honey proof that I think it's, it's similar a little bit, like it, at the at the front. Without the spice, I think it would be Evan Williams. Well, that'd be the big difference, that spice. Yeah, yeah. I think without the spice, it would be that. Yeah, right. for sure. Um, what's the what's the price point on New Riff? Uh, I want to say this one was 35 Okay, so still less than 40 yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. It was in that 35 40 range, if I remember correctly. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah, definitely not bad, though. And depending if you get the single barrel or the um, the rye or the other, mm -hmm. let's see what they had a rye, single barrel. Yeah, it, it, depending on which one you get, that's how much mm -hmm. it's going to okay. cost a little bit more. I know the single barrel was a little more. And if you've been, if you've been watching us uh, for these past uh, four seasons, <laughs> then you already know for me. Anytime that we drink anything that's got a, a remote sweetness, especially comparison to like any like kind of caramel or vanilla notes, you'll often hear me uh, compare that shit to <laughs> Buffalo Trace just because I love Buffalo Trace. <laughs> and the vanilla and the caramel in that shit is just so splendid. It's and splendid. I was and, and I was I was happy enough to be able to uh, to decide between those two. What was it? That and Wolf Reserve on the uh, previous show where we had to do blind taste testing because. I know my shit when it comes to yeah. You got Buffalo lucky. Trace. I got, <laughs> you got lucky because you changed your mind seven times. Like I, I did. did so. I did. I ain't gonna lie though. Yeah, I, I did though. Um, if you if you're not hip to that man, make sure you do pull up that episode. Uh, we did a blind taste testing for uh, Woodford Reserve and uh, and Buffalo Trace. Uh, I, and I think like with this, let's just think about some of the ones like at least since you've been on um, Angry Principal. Like what's been uh like what is this most comparable to like to you? Cause like I say, I compare it to Evan Williams, uh, the, the hundred proof, but like without the spice. So like, what what do you think? What is reminiscent to you know to this? Maybe the rare breed, rare uh, breed. wild turkey rare wild breed turkey. we had. Um, no, it's kind of that. It's not as strong as the rare breed. I was gonna but say, yeah. The, 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 the flavor profile kind of reminds me only because like I'm on my third sip and mm. I'm getting like plums or something or some dark mm. fruit. Uh, I'm not even sure which fruit it is, but you know. 
I think that's coming from, that the, that's coming from the cigar. It too, might I be, think, but yeah. you know, it's still coming out. So it's still coming out. Yeah. Uh, I only remember that happening with uh, with that wild turkey rib breed, gotcha. where I get those uh, dark fruit notes at the yeah. end. Okay. So that's that's the one that's closest to it. But like mm-hmm. I said, this is a new company founded in two, four, 2014 trying to tell the old guys, hey, this is how it's done. And that's what makes them kind of interesting. You're kind of rooting for the guy that can come in and say, we're going to try it this way. I'm going to tell you one thing about this cigar, though. This cigar is uh, this cigar is scary. <laughs> I'm going to tell you why this cigar is scary, though. Because it's, it's, it's too mellow for me. And I'll say it's too mellow because I've been... I've been damn near inhaling it every time and shit. And, and that's definitely not what you want to do. No, not at all. <laughs> but, like, a lot of times when it's mellow enough, though, like, you feel courageous enough to inhale it. And I, I've done that, like, actually just now a couple of times by accident. <laughs> like, just because I felt like I was smoking weed. Because, like, it's just, like, it's good. But the the one thing I, that I don't, I don't know, I guess I'm a little weird. It's mellow. It's, it's, it's mellow enough that it's a good smoke. I think for me, I'm going to smoke it by, by itself, though. I think with the with the alcohol, like with the uh, with the uh, whiskey, I think it brings out some different flavors of the whiskey. But I I don't think that the I don't think the drink does anything for the cigar, if that makes sense. So a lot of times the cigar will do something for the drink, but the drink doesn't do anything for the cigar for me. And the only reason I say that is because again I got the softer palate. <laughs> so a lot of the a lot of things that's got like that heavy vanilla or heavy uh, caramel profile, I kind of like to offset it with something sweet as well. So like for me, something like this would go like hella good with a fat bottom Betty and shit because they both kind of sweet. You know what I'm saying? So I, I think that's a good offset. Now everybody's profile is different. Like a lot of people like like kind of like the 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 smoke and the sweet to go together and shit. Like for me, I think I need it like kind of together. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, because I like I like mine to contrast. To so offset, like, yeah. You don't like, like the mine, same. Yeah. yeah. See, I kind of like the same. Yeah. See, like I like Maduro wrappers. So yeah. I want that darker, fuller. Mm-hmm taste so yeah like yeah. a flathead or something like that yeah, yeah though yeah mm-hmm. that's a good smoke right there yeah. sound like it goes without saying that a cigar can totally ruin or enhance your drink and vice versa oh yeah for sure i think I, so yeah. I don't, usually enhance <laughs> yeah, I, I was gonna I, say i don't i don't i don't see it ruining mm-hmm. I, I yes i have one you got one right okay i was gonna so, say i don't know I, I won't I don't want anything to do with this brand, the cigar, for for a couple reasons. Oh, not the what's called it. So number one, I think I think they're disgusting. <laughs> but number two, because the owner is is a racist motherfucker, right? You talking about the uh, Gurkhas? Gurkhas. I can't uh, stand it was, Gurkhas. It was so oh, good I can't stand though. Gurkhas. I hate Gurkhas with a passion. Tried. Did you did you hate it? it? Uh, did you hate it before? Yeah, this is before I found out about the oh. racist stuff. I, 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 I can't I can't get with Gurkhas. I can't do it. I thoroughly I enjoyed that motherfucker. So he was going to have to say, hey, okay. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I, I think I, I think I told I had more like two or three of those. Mm-hmm. I had smoke. I kept giving them out. Mm-hmm. And then uh, he was like, yeah, my man said that guy's racist. I'm like, that's probably some different Gurkha. <laughs> yeah. you know, no, so tell of course you. I had to Google the year and that yeah that guy's kind of racist. I enjoyed that shit. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, kind of kind of the same way. Oh, I smoked it afterwards and I still enjoyed it, but I haven't bought nothing. Haven't bought it more. So it's the same way we did with copper copper crab. <laughs> First of all, I enjoy the taste. See, I love Coppercraft. Coppercraft is delicious. But my blackness though. won't let me. But I won't it. buy. It. I want everybody again. Same way with this, the Gurkha. I love the Gurkhas. Uh, and so then, then the uh, minute you told me that, I gotta let them go. Didn't the boss step down and shit? Don't care. That, that, don't, yeah. that don't help. Don't care. <laughs> Talk to my, it's tarnished forever. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's a wrap. <laughs> no, it's so Some good stuff. But <laughs> yeah, it was they, good. They just won't get any money from me. I got you, dog. I can feel that. All right, so real quick, man, we go, uh, we go get up out of here because we ain't going to hold y'all too long. But uh, New Rift, dog, what, uh, what, what kind of rating would you give it? Uh, one to five, dog. What would you give it? Man, it's a <laughs> four and a half for me. I enjoy this. I say goddamn. Yeah, I really enjoy New what? Rift. New Rift is no joke. I mean, it, you're not going to break the bank. But the only reason I, I'm surprised though, because like it's a hundred proof, so it's, it's closer to what you might like. But even though it is a hundred proof, it, it don't have a strong bite at the end. So I'm surprised that you gave it such a high mark. I don't need the. For me, it's the flavor explosion gotcha. that I got at the beginning. Okay. It does not have that long uh, lingering taste, yeah. but I did get a little bit of a hug. So yeah. and because of the single barrel, I'm always going to go towards the new wrist anyway. Gotcha. Uh, and then I know that this one being the more affordable one, mm-hmm. uh, it can be an everyday sipper if I want it to be. Yeah. So yeah, for just for the affordability, the mm-hmm. the fact that you can find it in any. Mm-hmm. liquor store yeah. uh, at least here in Michigan you can okay. get it anywhere yeah. you know that that gives it a four and a half for me uh, 
Uh, I just that's I just heavy. enjoy it. It is it's yeah. fun. It's a fun drink, and, <laughs> it's can, fun. and then like the bottle, just the fact that it fades into the different color, you can't it really does. tell until you get down to the bottom that you even almost <laughs> threw the bottle. So you at least got some hope. <laughs> you get a lot of drinking out of right, it, right? So. Because up here it's kind of hiding. Yeah. You don't know. So what it is. that the part of the marketing, the fact that they just changed the bottle up a little bit. All that kind of stuff goes into right. it. They sold me. This marketing they, got me. Because this bottle is different, right? Yeah. It's different. Yeah. I mean, it's the, all the new riffs have the same look, but mm-hmm. if you compare it to some of your other bottles of other brands, mm-hmm. it, it just, they put some time into the bottle. Yeah. Which marketing sometimes is what you know grabs your eye. Yeah. That's what originally grabbed my eye was the the bottle. The bottle. Yeah. And then the single barrel, it wound up being so good that I wound up getting another. Mm-hmm. And then this is like my third. Okay. You know, because okay. it's just me, so I'm right. not going blowing not through going it every through day. It, yeah. But okay. you know, so that's I, that's why I wanted to share that one today. Okay. This one today because for like I said, a new company coming out here trying to show the big boys how it's done. Yeah. They do a pretty good job. So mm-hmm. you know, a four and a half. Yeah, four and a half. It's a problem, it ain't yeah. perfect, but it's that's high. It's, it's really that's good. Pretty to me. high. Yeah. It's so really good. I'm a uh, for me. I think I'm gonna give it a. <laughs> I'm gonna give it a three and a half. All yeah. right. And the only reason being is because, like I said, it is reminiscent. Of uh, for me, it's, it's reminiscent of Evan Williams, which is uh, now another one of my favorites again because of that caramel profile, um, and and the vanilla notes. But um, I can't put it too high only because I ain't gonna lie. When it says bottle and bond and hundred proof, like I'm I'm expecting it to bite a little harder and shit. So it not to not to say that it's not good because like it's still good and also surprising was the the comparison to uh to a uh, rare breed because the rare breed shit right there. Now that is a flavor explosion. <laughs> that shit right there, oh, it's like you, I don't even know how to. And I got an empty bottle up there now. I keep looking at that shit because I wish it was something in there. But, <laughs> um, but I, I do see the like. I, I understand the like the comparison, but like, like if I had to choose between the two, obviously I know the Red Breed is probably uh, is more expensive than the. Uh, okay, I can hear that. I can knock it down to four. Yeah, I'm keeping it at four. Though. Yeah, keep it at four. I keep it at four. Right, right, it's no like more. Right, right, no more. I can see where you comparing it to. Yeah, my, you we, know, one of my. Top three, yeah, exactly. Now. Okay, I got you. So, yeah, yeah so that's why you said four point five. I'm like, shit, where? Yeah, I'll <laughs> right. bring it down to a four. All right, so before we get out of here, though, I got one more question. I know we always talk about uh, Wolf Reserve and uh, Buffalo Trace, like being like introductory, uh, you know, introductory, introductory drinks. Gateway, Gateway yes, that's the <laughs> word. Damn, I'm high already, huh? Um, <laughs> so. With this man, I know you you already had this before too, right? I had the sing you brought a single barrel single over to yeah, right. so I had the single barrel, yeah. Okay, so like just just piggybacking off of that, like we'll start with you both. Uh, what you think? Like, do you think this would be considered a gateway, or this is something you would probably have to have hit some of them gateways first before you got to this? Um, I think it could be a gateway, right? I mean, uh, it, it, if you look at some of your younger bourbon drinkers or newer bourbon drinkers or whatnot, you mm-hmm. know. I think, you know, a lot of people are looking for something a little different, you know. Right. So, yeah, I think it could be. And then from there, you, you might branch out into the blue blood, so to speak, right? Yeah. You know. Um, but, but yeah, honestly, I think any bourbon could be a, a, a okay, gateway well. bourbon. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I mean, that's our, because, you know. Except what, except that that one shit. what was that shit? Different bookers? Yeah, that you know, can't be a gateway. No. <laughs> that bitch like a thousand proof. No. <laughs> yeah. That can't be. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know about that. You know, <laughs> but, uh, but, but for the most part, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You all describing a, a pretty nice bourbon. Yeah. It didn't bite you, and it gave him a hug, so <laughs> that, that probably would be a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's funny, dog. <laughs> so it didn't bite you, and gave you a hug, so it's pretty, pretty good with this shit, dog. <laughs> No, angry person for what you say, dog. No, I wouldn't introduce this to yeah. new bourbon drinkers. Mm-hmm. Um because it, it, it's a lot more subtle, a lot more subtleties to this bourbon than it would be for some of the others, yeah. where it's just like everything's pronounced. Like I said, to my third sip, I didn't even get fruit into my third sip. So, mm. you know, it, it this is one of those ones you want to kind of play play around with once your palate gets a little better. You can appreciate all the subtleties about it. So, no, initially, this is not the one I want to introduce yeah. people on. And that dark fruit, the dark fruit uh, taste, I think it is coming from... With the cigar, yeah, maybe. Yeah, I think it definitely is. All right, so uh, on that, I think that uh, I think it, it possibly or maybe the single barrel maybe could be uh, like a gateway. Maybe this one, I think you need to, in order to appreciate it, I think you need to have had some other like bourbons. Because I, I think if I'd have jumped off into this 
uh, initially, then I, I might not like it at all. But then again, I said the same thing about Wolf Reserve, and then I realized like it's fucking the same thing as <laughs> Buffalo Chase for real. Yeah, but like when I first you. had it, like you couldn't have told me shit. Like when we was having that conversation, I was like, "Oh, there's no way in the hell." Like I know the difference. But then I put them side by side. The smell is damn near the same. Like the nose is damn near the same. Like it's, it's crazy. But um, I wouldn't. I say maybe the single barrel could possibly be a gateway. This one, I think you need to have a little bit more experience before you get into it, just to appreciate it. Like it's not go, it's not gonna kill you. You know what I'm saying? Like it's not gonna be too rough. But like in order to actually appreciate it, I think you want to have a, a little more uh, experience before you get into it, though. So that's what we think, dog. So um, if you get a chance, make sure you do uh, check out the new riff. If you've listened to our review and you agree or disagree, make sure that you do put your comments into the YouTube uh, comments. Uh, also, if you, there are some liquors that we haven't tried thus far, make sure you do uh, leave a comment and let us know, and we'll possibly do those next time. Um, it's time to get out of here and drink some more whiskey. <laughs> Till the next time, man. You already know what it is. BBW, man. Everybody loves BBW. That's beers, bourbon, and whiskey, man. I got my man Don in the building. All right. Angry principal holding it down. Drink what you like, how you like. My man Bo in the building. I'll say. And of course, man, it's your boy Q Lewis holding it down live from the 48205, man. Peace out, y'all.